and good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Welcome to ABC 13's new digital show, The Midday. I'm Chelsea Hernandez, helping you find all of the deals around the city, plus keeping you up to date on what everyone is talking about today. So here's what's coming up on The Midday. Do-it-yourself countertops. I found a quick solution to giving your home a cheap update that looks super expensive. And the Astros are throwing a huge bash this weekend. How you can attend, plus the new and unusual experimental ideas come to life at a restaurant in Kima. It's literally a lab of food that'll have you wanting more. I'm really sorry that this has happened to you guys tonight. We know that it's not just about the date and the calendar. We know that it's about reorganizing your life and babysitters and all the rest of it. Oh man, oh man, the classic rock band The Who managed to sing one of their biggest hits last night before calling off the show. The frontman Roger Daltrey lost his voice after eight songs straight. And guys, I want to, you're about to hear our producer Marcus. My usual producer Jerry is out of, um, out of the office today, so Marcus is filling in. Marcus, one of our directors actually went to this concert last night, right? Yeah, he did. And like you said, eight songs, at least, at least he got eight, like at least you got eight and then the show was postponed so at least you got a little something now obviously you want to be there for the full concert and everything of course but luckily you know toyota center tweeted out that they the who promised you they're going to come back uh -huh. they're going to honor the tickets so hopefully a lot of the fans that went today weren't coming from out of town and they'll still be to make that event this almost is like a teaser it keeps you wanting more and like you said the toyota center also tweeted that they the show has been postponed of course but the band has promised that they will be back to honor everyone's ticket from last night they just don't know exactly when so this made us you know put our heads together so if you are experiencing a canceled or postponed show via Ticketmaster they say re they, they will refund your tickets and send straight to your account refunds should take at least seven to ten business days now for rescheduled events new information will be sent to your phone or email so make sure you keep taking like keeping an eye on that as well uh, tickets will also be valid for the next new concert set date unless told otherwise and refunds if you can't make the new date of course and what do we have coming up next mr marcus up next we have the Beatles yes. in Abbey Road. So Abbey Road turns 50 today. The album, you know, of course, signaling the end of an era. Oh my goodness. When it was released back in 1969. Don't we all love, love, love so many classic Beatles songs there. The iconic cover and classic tracks, including coming including Come Together. There we go. My script kind of broke to two pieces, guys. <laughs> okay, something in Here Comes the Sun, of course, would go on to be best-selling. One of my biggest regrets is when I went to London two days after I got engaged was not going to Abbey Road. Why didn't you go? Yes! Do you know how? Listen, just got engaged, was there for like two days. So we, me, my, fi my fiance, my now wife and I got engaged in Paris. So then we took a nice little trip to London. We were there for about two or three days, and that was just not enough time. Not an, okay, okay. Not enough time. I'll give you that, because y'all were y'all were enjoying that special moment. It was. And taking it all in, and did you even, like, did it even come to mind nope. to go to nope. Abbey Road, right? I did go see uh, Sherlock Holmes' house, though. That, I did make sure to do that. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's still pretty cool. So Priorities. There's a actually a new box set out, including demos, uh, out today for the Beatles, so you guys can check that out. Okay, do you have a... Alexa, Marcus? I do have an Alexa. You do? I do. I okay. just got one. Okay, so I actually, my friend of a friend had an extra one, and you know, stretch your dollar. I took that one and brought it home. As you do. Uh, exactly. So apparently, uh, Samuel L. Jackson is lending his voice to Alexa. Take a listen. I'm always ready. Showtime. Today in Los Angeles, it's 85 degrees. Say my name. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> oh my All goodness. In. All in. <laughs> you love this. So, this apparently is going to be a new thing. Samuel L. Jackson is going to be the first celebrity voice for the Alexa technology. So, say goodbye to your Alexa voice and hello to Samuel L. Jackson for just 99 cents. It's a trial period, and then eventually it will go up to $4.99. It launches later this year. And what I kind of like about this, because it's totally Samuel L. Jackson, Marcus, is that um, you can get his profanities and all. 
when he responds to you. I need Samuel L. Jackson just to narrate my life, and I'd be, for, I'd be the happiest person in the world. If you know, he just narrated, like, Marcus woke up, and he's going to work, I'd be like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it sounds pretty cool. I wonder what other celebrities are going to eventually bring in later on. But all I got to say is I hope he listens better than Alexa listens. And are you going to have to say, hey, Samuel? I do this. That's amazing. You know? All of it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool for sure. Okay, so Marcus, up next, um, this story is going to have everyone talking all day long. An iPhone survived over a year submerged in a lake at the bottom of the lake. It's insane. So apparently the phone still worked. And good thing, too, because it actually held some sentimental value uh, for the woman who lost it. Erica Bennett, she was on the river floating with her family in South Carolina last June when it actually fell out. And now the thing is, it had all of the text messages on there from her late father. So this is really special. A YouTuber named Michael, who's actually known for discovering all types of submerged things, found her phone. It was... Uh it was kind of emotional because, you know, the last thing I have from him is, hey, I'm playing phone tag with you, so I figured I'd just text you, how are you feeling? And I think he had called me after that. Um, uh, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it was Father's Day. Wow. Oh, that gives me chills. That's incredible. Okay, so the messages were all there. It may have something to do with the waterproof case the phone was in. And we actually did our research and we found this case on Amazon for about eight bucks. And you know, I always see theme parks and water parks selling those cases for like $30. Um, so you can actually find that one on Amazon. It might actually be worth the eight bucks because if the phone lasted inside of that case for a year, <sighs> and rushing water, I'm all in. No, they're all in thing. All in, right? All in. Two thumbs up from me, too, as well. I actually just need that for everyday life. Maybe it'll keep my phone from cracking, too. Okay, so um, the Astros, we got to talk the Astros, Marcus. A big, big bash coming up, celebrating. Fans, you need to get hyped. We're four games away till the end of the season, and they're looking really good. Ooh. They have potential MVP in Alex Bregman. Yes. They have two potential Cy Young winners in Garrett Cole and Justin Verlander. They are looking prime for the postseason and they are rolling. Oh my goodness, I love this. And the big celebration is actually going to happen this Sunday at Carbock Brewing. And you'll be able to watch, of course, the last Astros game of the regular season, the regular of course. Season, and and postseason. There's going to be exclusive um, postseason gear for you to get your hands on as well. Who doesn't love swag? Swag, 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 swag. Yeah, I obviously love it. Okay, so um, Marcus, do you and your wife do a lot of DIY projects? We need to start. We have, to, we have a <laughs> we have a entertainment session we have to build because we just moved into our new home. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so maybe if you um, want to, you know, add new life to the countertops or even wallpaper. I know wallpaper is a really big thing coming in to style these days. I found this adhesive, self-adhesive paper on Amazon oh, wow. that did wonders for a uh, nightstand that I have. Go ahead and we're gonna take a look at my Instagram. I posted it on there. And if you take a look, that is my before. It's about a decade old nightstand. You can see the chips, everything like that. So then what I did was I painted it all white. So you can see me just spray painting it down, two coats, let it dry overnight, whatnot. Then the next day, I added the self-adhesive marble paper on top and you could see it was kind of ripped like the paint came off the top of the uh, nightstand because it started raining on me <laughs> so I had to bring it indoors and whatnot but anyways super easy it took me about 20 minutes to put on to this nightstand and then here is the finished product right there you can see that marble top uh, with the white drawers so I absolutely love this it cost me less than 20 bucks the paper itself was like $17 on Amazon and they have all types of different styles uh, the reviews were all so great which is initially what made me want to try this for myself because I'm never gonna recommend a product unless I actually experience it for myself I may hire you just to come do that for me <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm gonna charge you though that's fine <laughs> I don't work for free <laughs> okay so um, next up what are we going to Jer uh, oh, I almost called Marcus Jerry. That's See? okay. We are right. going to midday with the special restaurant you want to talk oh, about. Oh, yes. Okay, so this place, 
our local-ish stopped by in Kima. It is windowless, unassuming, just a building right there in Kima, and it's called uh, Eculent, and it literally is like a lab for food. Take a listen. We start off with the tree coming alive, and then the tree is going to tell you which courses to take next. Look at the little game. I love this. So depending upon what mood we want you to be in or how we want you to feel when you're eating that course, we will alter it. The artwork is all digital and it's all choreographed to go with the meal. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We built some of our own systems. We can control the lighting. We can control the smell. I have a fabulous music director. And so I said, this really is like a film. Whoa. I want them to feel like they're in a forest. That is so that's cool. wild. That is amazing. All right, that's down in Kima, so make sure you check them out. And Marcus, you're going to be joining me tomorrow, too. I'll be back tomorrow. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of the Midday. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.